City of City Council of the City of Pearsall to be held Thursday, September 6th, 6, 2018. The time is 7.30. Um, roll call, everyone is here. Um, we have a quorum, and we've done our invocation as well as Pledge of Allegiance. So we will move on to item four, public hearing. Um, entertain a motion to open the public hearing, please. Hmm? Okay, may I have a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries unanimously, so we will move on to the hearing, public hearing, please. Uh, Madam Mayor Council, same presentation. Uh, if you have any <coughs> questions, be happy to try to answer questions now. If we will do it again, we'll let <laughs> you know. So. I have one question. Okay, we, we, the last year and a half or so, we talked a lot about land use in our master plan. This is a lot of land. And uh, have we given thought to it in, in terms of the master overall master plan? How we're going to, what kind of input we're going to get, what, 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 what we're looking at? Well, so, uh, two things with that that we have talked about, particularly one, our big track of land that we own out there that's vacant land right now, um, that pulls it into the master plan, which is good uh, because it, it gives you that, that, that land will now be. We can plan the use of that land accordingly. Of course, we know that land is either going to take a lot of work you know, for something to happen out there or whatever, but that, pull, I mean, that pulls it in. But the second thing it does is you know, when people get off the interstate and they come down that interstate at the wall of four coming in, they don't realize that they're you know, two miles down the road, three miles down the road before they actually get into the Pearsall. I mean, they, they, all, they think all that out there is part of Pearsall, too. And right now, we really have no control over a lot of what happens out there. Um, you know, they, they, there's no zoning, there's no, you know, there's no anything out there. So it gives us a little bit more control of one of our entrances in the town. Um, it allows it, now, you know, our planning and zoning board needs to review, you guys to review their decisions. Um, and it so it gives us a little bit more control on that on that opening phase where everybody comes in and they can actually um, start to see what our health is like. So from, from, from the master plan standpoint, it's big to get all this that we've done um, and get it included in, what, in our city planning and how we're going to develop housing. I mean, now we've got a big chunk out there that a housing area it could be an industrial area, it could be something else, and that fits in fits in very well because we really don't have any space right now that we can do a lot of that stuff. With. So it, it allows us a lot more flexibility in that plan as to how we're going to uh, establish how you guys are going to establish priorities for where we want to go, where we want stuff to go from this point forward. Um, are you going to be allowing like control burns out there? Because I, I know some of these people do burn their trash out there and, and brush and you know so on and so forth. How, how are you going to how are we going to address that issue? So the, exi the existing ordinances don't allow for open you know they don't right. allow for burns, uh, but it requires that they utilize the city uh, solid waste company. Uh, so once once they're annexed, those the ordinances apply to them too. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. That property that we have out there, half of it is useless, right? No, it's, right? Borrowed. it's an old borrowed pit. Um, yeah, it's but the park. front part, how much right. How much area? There's probably about 20 or 25 acres of that that is usable. It just needs to be cleared with the brush. It's, I mean, yeah. it's covered in brush, but, but it's, I mean, it's, solid, it's solid property up against Power Line Road. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that, it is right there at the 104. I mean, there could be a lot of stuff done with that, that piece of property right there. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've got you know, extending the water the rest of the way to that property where there's access. To, we have a water line all the way to the big, the big water line right there to stay. Extending that to the rest of the way. It's, there's a lot of opportunity that we can actually. But we don't. The city owned it before. So if we would have developed something out there, we would have got any property tax off of it because it wasn't annexed inside the city limits. Um, so being able to develop it and get property tax off of these things, we have to get it. We'd have to get it, mm -hmm. which it is now. Uh, but that, that, that was one of the things that's not sure you know, that piece of property. It was detached. So we could have sold it, or we could have leased it and done something with it. We actually tried to work out uh, a lease on that about a year ago for another uh, Bluff and Geo type facility. Uh, they were looking for a place to build another facility. Um, but if if we sold it and somebody built a, a Honda plant out there, we would have got nothing to sell price out of that over because it kind of would have been all the tax dollars. Because it wasn't something Yes, sir. So right now the city limits is. Up to Bond Road, is that correct? It's right there at Pops. Uh, but there's been 30 days since the phase two was finished. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think we've been quite 30 days the one that extends. But in terms of roads, is it along Bond Road pretty much? Once phase two, since, since phase one and phase two are finalizing right now, 
the city limit will actually go right there to the road that goes to Steck, that County Road 1058 or whatever it is. That would be the city limit right there. But it does not include Horizon West, right? No, it's not. No, yeah. It does yeah. Not that's, what, that's what I'm asking. Is there's there's a plot of land between Vaughn Road and, and, and this, right? Correct. That's yes, that is county. correct. All the way to that line right there. Actually, all the way to that south line on Steck. Um, and it, I think you see Horizon West. Oh, that's what you was asking. Horizon okay. West is right. Right now, we're starting at the city property boundary because that's the highest. Is it true that the boundary is, is like the alleyway there? The alleyway where? Uh, between power plant and the next street? Yeah, you? it's the, the alleyway <coughs> behind Wahio. Behind Wahio, right? Between, between Wahio and Moore. It's the alley. So if you're on that side of the alley, the county thinks you're. So you can go inside the alley and shoot fireworks. Anytime you do your property boundaries, you try to use known straight lines. So it's normally okay. roads and alleyways is what you're going to do. And then those boundary lines become, okay, whose is it? Is it half the, <coughs> half the city and half the yeah, county? The county. Or, you know, and the house is the city. So, so if, it's a paved, if it's a paved road, you're going to make sure you stay on the right way on one side so it's very clear. Um, alleyways, there's no business. If it's an alleyway, there's no business. Because I'm a seizure. <laughs> Madam Mayor, mm -hmm. um, we, we are, and it is a public and open hearing, so if there's anybody that would like to ask questions or say anything or any, any, any comments from the floor, be welcome. Okay. Since there's no more, yes, Uche? I just want to add, with respect to your question, well, your uh, concern earlier, whether they're going to service the tracts of land 20 years, five years down the line, that is again what the comprehensive plan is supposed to address, you know, because it, it has to look at the whole uh, site holistically and project it into the future. But my concern is some people like Mr. Jackson say have, you know, um, they are saying they may not want some of the activities, they may want some of these activities. So when you want to plan with that in mind, you know, it, it makes it inconclusive, you, you know. So if you're planning for uh, a city with projections that, okay, over time, this place is still going to develop, this place is going to be left as agricultural land, whatever, you know? So that one left at open space, you're not going to be looking at putting utilities. But a place you know possibly people are going to live there, it may be worthwhile looking towards servicing that area or providing for the service for that area. Yeah, but it's something that we need to look at holistically. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any else? Anybody else with comments, questions? If not, we'll um, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? It's now closed. The time is 7.40. Moving on to item five, new business. A, discussion and possible action regarding the waiver of fees for the use of the Victor Trevino Sports Complex for fundraiser. This is an action item. We need to entertain a motion to discuss, please. Motion to discuss. Second. Second. All in favor? Uh, Madam Mayor, Council, this, this was something that a couple of council members asked me about after the last meeting. Um, and I'm going to let Justin tell you guys what they're asking for. And I'll give you some comments after that. Just for what we are, whichever way was on. Uh, we're just trying to raise money for my little cousin here. She's trying to get to London to a cheer to march in a parade in London. She's just going to represent not only Diddy, but here South the Love and the Creole County. I mean, that's what she's wanting to go up here and see if we can wave 
not the whole 700, maybe some of it, just so you can have money to get yourself up to the So you'll be marching in a band or a cheer? What do you um, it's over two minutes from all across like, the nation. Mm -hmm. You try out to be an all American UCA cheerleader, and you travel to London and you cheer in the New Year's Day parade. And it'll be with the whole bunch of cheerleaders and fans. Okay. So what what is your fundraiser going to be? The softball track. Okay. So the option is to, the fee is how much? Seven hundred? Seven hundred dollars. So well, well, I don't know. Because my original understanding was it was one day, but now Graham said he's heard it's a two day. We don't have an application for permit. Well, they have an application until we find out what we're going to pay because we have to pay for the permit. Yeah. Well, we He's got to pay the earnings. He's got to pay the rings. He's got to pay the medals. He's got to pay plaques. He's got to pay umpires. So he, I don't know how much money he's making from there. 
Okay, but the, but the rental fee he's pushing off on you, right? He's pushing all that on me. Insurance and for, I don't know about the insurance, but the rental fee is that everything's coming on me. So that way you guys understand. Oh. So that's why I'm, I brought this up to the city council because I think it's ridiculous having to pay seven hundred dollars. I mean, having to do a fundraiser for a kid that's trying to get to to money. And there's other organizations out of this in this community that uh, ran waves a couple of fees for when they wanted to have a fundraiser at the park. And I, that's what, I'm a knight myself, and he waived the fees for us just to have a fundraiser there. And that's what I brought up to the city manager the other day on Friday. And it's not like, I mean, I know the knights need the money, but we do help the community here. Mm -hmm. I mean, the community, so. Previously, you guys have the waiver, the sponsorship, which the, what you mean is what we did. We did away with the sponsorship part because the lights out. That was the big issue was the, the cost of all that. And you guys have approved how the city would do sponsorships um, related to if it's a school or if it's a nonprofit or whatever. Um, and we don't have anything in place for that right now uh, for the school and nonprofit team. But it's your choice. Questions? Yeah. Yes. Uh, why doesn't the promoter uh, actually provide the, the insurance and, and provide for the fee for the uh, to take it out off his 65 percent or 60 percent? I don't know if we're going to use his insurance for the, the use of the field just in case a, a girl or a boy gets hurt during the, the tournament. I don't know if we're using his insurance. He's going to fall back on his insurance because he told me that there was an insurance on file already that we can use. I don't know if it's his or. When it's when is the tournament? This Sunday. But see, he just told me about the Easter, which like last week. So he gave me a short notice of getting this tournament, put I mean, putting it together just to host it for her to get to London. I mean, it's just like a couple of days for me to get all this together and come sign up here in front of you and ask y'all for a a discount on the field. And your trip to London is? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. I mean, I think one other thing, too. As of today, the fields were too wet. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on weather, that's going to be a whole other thing. See, that's what he also told me to throw. If we didn't make it this weekend, I guess he's got it for the 23rd as well. Oh, okay. I got it for so, I mean, For this weekend, like, there's a post. supposed to rain again tomorrow, supposed to rain again Saturday, it's supposed to rain again Sunday. So, I mean, we're just... mm -hmm. so, I mean, I need to rain all this week, so. If I can have it on the 23rd, it would be nice. That's, that's a possibility, too. It's, it's um, a total of 700? No, so how much money? How much money is it that you need to, um, or you're trying to raise? $3,700. That was expensive yeah. for these girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's going in December 26th through January 2nd. Okay. Yes, sir. And this term is just going to be like all day, all night? I mean, it's not all night. But it's going to be all day. I don't know about all night. I mean, <laughs> usually when you have tournaments, they do match to about 9 o'clock, 9.30. Yeah, 18 to 20, they'll take all day. Yeah. And do you know more or less how much money uh, you can earn with one of these fundraisers? See, we have, when we did ours, the Knights of Columbus, I think with just the concession center and, and the door, we raised like $2,400, $2,300. But that's not including what he, we took out his part on the 65% uh, of the team or whatever was left from here he gave us, which was probably like $800, $900 left from what the team's paid to give him. So you have the potential to raise at least 75% of the money. To get it to run the is is that the protocol and this is how done? This is how this is done. <coughs> that their their broker lined that up and the broker gets super this, is, this is why you guys passed the ordinance because of that. Because we were getting in trouble because of that. Because mm -hmm. that person who's using a public facility make money. Not for a non profit or not for a something, but for a personal business. That was for the auditors. Yeah. That, that was the same issue that the auditors had that When the Knights of Columbus do it, they're not they're not profit. 
mean, so that's a whole different ballgame because if it's Knights of Columbus or if it's a school softball team, the peak, the little league, whoever, that's a whole different thing because they're not popular with 501c3. And so government to government or government to 501c3, that's that's not the issue. It's when when it's being used. Um, what was happening before was it was being used by a private individuals to make a lot of money, and we got a lot of trouble with the auditors. And that's why you guys stopped it in 2017 with the, with the fees. So, and so this is the same thing. I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not sure because I don't know exactly what all is going to work out. It just, I mean, I just wanted you guys to understand what the whole dynamic was as you were considering this. Well, it is, it is from, from my perspective, if, if it's you know, a young girl from our county go, that's an easy decision. But it sounds like more than that. If, yeah. if somebody's taking advantage of the situation, you know, where, where if that person was paying the fees out of his cut and then giving you guys the net, that would That'd be a pretty easy decision, but I, I guess I guess I'm kind of against a wall against that. It, it, do you guys see it that way? I mean, it, the, the promoter's the one that's going to get all the goody, and then he's asking <coughs> you guys to to to. to. But, and, and the other part of the equation is because there is expenses. So I mean that we so had to be a little bit that. high, so we, we dropped that down to make it more in line with everybody else. But it does cost to do that, and so we try to get it in line where it basically cover our costs. Yeah. And, we, and we set this up on our feet. That's, I mean, that's basically what we were trying to do. We were trying to make money on the sports complex. We were trying to help cover the cost of it. I have a question. Uh, Justin, um, so how much do you think you're going to generate from that, that particular event? Well, if, uh, if, if, I mean, taking off what, what your broker and, and all that, taking everything off, how much would you possibly tend to make? I mean, not much because we still got to buy like, the drink wise, drink wise, and all that out of our pocket. So maybe two thousand. So, so, so wouldn't it be better, Justin, to ask the council for a donation rather than the field? That's fine. We can do that. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, yes we could do that. Our our pockets, not your taxes. <laughs> yes, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine with me because I know he's taking a good chunk of the, the money. And he's popular, so. Okay. How many, how many kids are going to um, from, from Trail County? Yeah. It's, there's some from Pearsall. Yeah, there's there's two of why, why can't we do the tournament that the city runs for all of them, give them all the day money? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. And give them all the money. All the money that comes in goes to the kids and it doesn't go to all this other stuff. Like so, that. but That's I'm what we should be doing. What exactly does, it, did you say it's Cavazos? Cavazos. What exactly did he, does he do? All he does is recruit teams. He puts the tournament together. He buys the, the rings, the medals, and the plaques to give out. And I mean, it comes out of his pocket, of course. And then that's how he gets his money back is with the team's uh, entry fee. He'll pay himself back, and then what's that? He'll give to the, the person that's the book and holds the tournament. And do we know how to recruit teams? And how much are the rings? Do you, do you know? All, what do you all think about that? And that's only for the winning team, right? The no, rings. That's, the rings go for the winning team, plus a plaque goes to the, the team as well. They get one plaque. Yeah, they they all get a ring. A one, one plaque and individual each, rings. Each individual gets a ring, and then they get a plaque, and then second place will get them at, and a plaque. But uh, we did it because uh, I'm an organization for the Lady Masters. And we did it last year. We gave out rings, and I think for a set of twelve rings, it was like eight hundred dollars. Okay. And you recruited the team. And we recruited the team to go. And we'll help. We'll be happy to help. See, but like since it was a short moment, that's why he. I mean, but why is it such a short? If we go to the twenty third, or even if we push it off another month, where we have a little bit more time for you and Ram to work together, we could do that, right? There's some. Um, what do you do at certain amount of times? Okay. So I, what, what, ours is October first. October first. Fifteen hundred dollars per child is due. So that's why we were trying to do it. So twenty third is still work. Twenty third is still work this month. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the same for the Pearsall. Yes, it is. It okay. is. Do we know how many kids sold? I know yeah. from from the it's area there. I think it's like. Three or four. Three. Two from two from Billy and three from Pearson. I think that's what I heard. There's five. There's total. five from Billy. There's five. Total. There's five from Billy. So that's probably total of like nine or eight. But if the full funds go to two, the kids instead of they're all going to be better. 
So that you thirty seven hundred is what's needed for each each kid. So that'd be about sixteen thousand. And then how much is it for team? It usually it depends. Like for eight you you charge one twenty five, and then as it goes up, like twelve you it's another one seventy five, and you go to eighteen you, which is like two hundred two twenty five a team. But then you saw the concession, and you saw the game. concession stand, and then you have the game. The game. But that's, I mean, like umpire, the umpire wins, I don't know what I want to do. You don't want to pay them out of the money they're earning, or you want to, the way we did it, we had the teams pay the umpires. Instead of us having to pay them out of our pocket, the teams, we charge them. They pay per game. Yeah, they pay per game. It's uh, $25 for full game and then 35 per bracket. I think we, we need to. Yeah. City. And you, you all get more money. I mean, and if, if all the kids want to participate, great. If someone already earned their money and they don't want you, fine. But we're doing it for a whole of real county kids that way. And it's a one time shot. That's, I mean, that's within, that's a whole lot. Because the reality is, too, oh, we can do this with this one. And then every other kid that's going to think it come in and ask for the same thing. And what are you going to tell them? You're going to say yes to the first yep. Um, is Dilly helping at all or donating anything at all? The city of, of Dilly? No. Have they haven't asked. asked. Oh, you haven't asked. asked. Oh. I haven't asked because I can direct here since I live here. Oh, okay. And I wanted to. So the complex here is yeah. a lot better than the Dilly one. So, uh, so it just so happens that the new interim city manager of Dilly is a good friend of mine. And so I will see if I can get them to split the cost of this. Well, maybe we can get the county involved. <laughs> I bet I can see the Dillies with the hospital since such a deal. County, we'd love to. Yes. We can try to make it work out. But Are on you the 23rd. On the 23rd, yes. On the 23rd, yeah. yes. Yes. Two days. Yes, Sonia. Is this? I mean, are you? I'm all, are you, all for it. Just, just as long as we can get her to. As long as we can get her to. We can get her to London. London. So this money is going to go. To her, yeah. Yeah. To, the kids. to the kids, to the kids, the kids. Okay. to the group of the children that are going to participate. Okay. Whatever it is, participate and help them set it up and have the work that way there. They, they would, uh, you would need to get your group to come forward and disclose who's in at the beginning. So, can, can you guys take care of that? Can you take care of getting a hold of, of the, the Dilly kids, the Pearsall kids? Give me a list of names. The Pearsall kids. Whoever works at the school district probably find out. I can get the Pearsall kids. Angie Daughter knows. <laughs> I know the Pearsall kids. Oh yeah, the Schaefer girl. Um, do you think we can talk? Uh, I don't mind helping get the team together. You're going to tell me tomorrow you have to go back. I'll walk all the way to the train for a minute tomorrow. If you guys can come in, then tomorrow we'll get ramped in. We'll start. So it's five here. There's five from Pearsall and five from Dilly? Yes. Well, some of them are going to Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, maybe Pearsall is. Okay, maybe. Yeah. 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 I know on the line is going to say We'll find out who's going where. <laughs> Which, in reality, is, it's part of the problem. You don't, have to, you don't have to give range. Or, I mean, you can give. Different stuff out right now. Yeah, we we want to talk to the teams, tell them why we're doing it, you know, and say this yeah. is what we're going to have for you. Is that, you know, they'll come. They'll come. Uh, as far as the insurance is concerned, well, no following your So is it the city, if the city sponsors, the city insurance card. Okay. Yeah, that's already covered. Okay. The city cool. sponsors. Mm -hmm. So this would be the city sponsoring this. So your, your, your discussion item was to waive the fees so you can direct. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can make a motion to not waive fees, but to direct, uh, direct staff to, to, to run the term. The only thing, the only thing that they really ask for is to have like big use and to maintain one water after every game or before each game. So we have, have what? Yeah. The maintain the water, water like with ice and water. We could have. Uh, oh, uh, containers. oh, containers of water. Yeah. Okay. The five, the five yeah. Yeah. If you would lose a lot of money with them bringing in ice chests with water to get the Okay. That way, that way, anything else that went besides water, that for the concessions, that water for the concessions, and we'll we'll make sure we take care of that. Go outside, go outside for a drink. Yeah. I guess we'll be busy that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 
in South Oregon. We'll make it work. Oh, that, yeah. Who's, so who's going to work it? The well, collective we'll concession stand. You guys, you we'll have, have the have west of the parents and right the other. Oh, uh, okay. They'll take care of the concession stand. The concession stand and the gig. We'll take up. We the the only thing it. that we asked for, because we had trouble with it when we did our was a lot of parents have thrown themselves at us, not you know, telling us, well, this is my kid, what if he dehydrates? We have water in the dugout yeah. tree, that's all. The only thing we would want is a patrol to be there, just in case we actually have that. Peter, you guys have a gate? Okay. Peter, you guys have a gate? Peter, you guys have a gate? The food item for the concession stand, you get, you guys purchase? We like, do you sell chips? What do you sell it? We, we, we did it. We sold like a chili, like Frito pie. pies, and it was like a burger, uh, chips, and a drink for like six dollars. And then the rest was like Frito pie, popcorn, pickles, candy, and okay. water. And Typical. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we need to provide anything for the professor's staff. I can talk to the parents as well to see if they can donate anything towards that. So, so the only issue then, of course, is that the gate now can be there. We'll have to have one of our staff members who's bonded to take money. Um, that's no big deal. Um, we can be on this plate, so we can cover that. And then they can take care of the concession stands. Parks people take care of part of the, the fields. With them. All we've got to do is get us together with Ram and the companies to figure out the prices. And that, we can do that tomorrow. No, um, if somebody wants to like put a flyer together for me and I can put it out there for you. This is, I mean, we can put like Disney and Pierce on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would like to say, I would like to say uh, congratulations first. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Look at smile. Yeah. Y'all work hard. Uh, but also, uh, this sets a precedence, uh, especially if we get to work with the city of Dilly and the county as well, mm -hmm. and the parents, of course, and the students. Uh, but also, uh, to provide an international experience for the kids. It's, it's going to be great. Uh, it's not like this, the city is, is, is going to maybe do this for, for everybody that comes up here, but this, this is a big experience. So mm -hmm. I think that's what we're all about. She's wearing hers. This is her first time flying. Yes. <laughs> Across the ocean. Yes. Well, Madam Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, do not waive the fees for the use of the Victor Trevino Sports complex, but that we authorize the city management to coordinate with groups so mentioned in putting together a fundraiser on behalf of the Frio County cheerleaders going overseas, and that we handle the parks and all related part, and that they handle the concession stand. There's a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. So you want to make some more? Yeah, I think yeah. With the parents as well, or just no, no. If you can get us a list of names, that's all. We need. Like I said, you can be in around. You can sit down and start. Okay. We're bringing tacos. Let's bring the tacos. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything else? We have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second.